Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. So let's start the game now. So I'm moving around. The planes are getting detected. So let's place the object now. Okay. Let's scale it. Okay. It's becoming big. Now let's make it small. I'm going to make it very small. Okay. Now let's make it big again. Hi and welcome. In our last AR foundation tutorial, we saw how to place an object on the detected plane and how to move that object to different AR planes when the user taps on the screen. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to scale that object when the player uses two fingers to zoom in and zoom out. So we'll be using the same scene from our last tutorial. So if you are not seeing that, please go back and check that tutorial out. We were using a script called Raycast script for placing the object using Raycast when the user taps on the screen. So now we are going to modify that script. So let's open the Raycast script. So this was the code that was used to move the object. So now we don't need to move the object because we are going to scale it based on the user interaction. So we'll remove the else statement. So now this code will place an object when the user taps on the screen and if the Raycast sets a plane, it will place the object, otherwise it won't spawn the object. And it is also setting a boolean to true when the object is placed. So when the player uses two fingers to zoom in or zoom out, there are basically two touch points on a touch screen. So we need to check if the touch count is greater than one and if it is greater than one and the object is placed, then we are going to perform the zoom operation. So let's say if input dot touch count is greater than one and we are going to check if the object is spawned. If this is true, then we are going to do the zoom operation. Now to scale the object, you basically require the distance between the two fingers and you should know whether it is increasing or decreasing. So we are going to create two vector tools because basically your screen touch point is a vector two. So we are going to say vector two first touch and then we are going to say vector two Second touch. Okay, then we are again going to say vector. Uh, we are going to say we don't need a vector two for the distance. We need a float. So float will say distance current, and then we'll say float distance. Previous. Okay, so now we have four variables. So if the touch count is greater than one and the object is spawned, we are going to say first touch equal to input dot get touch zero or a dot position. And similarly, we can say second touch is equal to input dot get touch, and this is one dot position. So now we have the position of both our touches. Now we are going to say distance current is equal to second touch dot magnitude minus first touch dot magnitude. Oh, sorry, this should be minus. Okay, semicolon. So now we got the distance. Now we need another Boolean to check whether the user is touching the screen for the first time because your previous distance will be zero and your current distance will have some magnitude. So that means we'll start zooming the cube, so which should not happen uh, when the touch is on the first time. So we're going to say bool first first inch equal to false okay so 
after this we'll say if uh not first pinch okay no no it should be set to true and we're going to check if first pinch then we're just going to say distance previous is equal to distance correct then colon okay and then we'll set first pinch equal to four great so now now that the first pinch is taken care of now we'll see if distance current is greater than distance previous uh, i think we should not check greater than or less than i think we'll check not equal to if that is the case then what we'll do is say spawn object dot transform dot scale uh, local scale is equal to now you need a vector 3 here because you cannot just multiply directly to the scale so we'll say vector 3 uh, scale value is equal to sorry scale value is equal to spawn object dot transform dot local scale multiplied by in brackets we're going to say distance current divided by distance previous okay then we're going to set the scale to scale value okay so what we're doing is if the previous distance was 1 and the current distance is 1.2 so we are dividing 1.2 by 1 which is again 1.2 so we'll multiply that to the scale so the existing scale will be magnified by the same amount that your distance has increased to so I think this should work and there should be something else and if it is not equal you should also set the previous sorry distance previous is equal to distance current so this is for the next cycle so everything looks good and let's check go to unity build the game and see whether it works our pinch script is working perfectly but there are two problems in the script the first one is when we try to pinch it also tries to spawn so that way we are trying to recast again and again which is not required so we'll try to remove that by adding an and condition saying if the object is not spawned then we'll do this otherwise we'll not recast at all so you can actually remove this if statement because we are again checking the same condition and leaving it as it is won't make much of a difference but it's basically a bad way to code so we'll remove this so now we have a simple if statement that if the touch count is greater than zero and the object is not spawned then we go ahead recast and place our object and if the touch count is greater than one that means two fingers are touching your screen and the object is already spawned then we do the then we do the scale operation now we also need to set the first pinch to true when there is no touch detected so that next time when the user is going to touch on the screen it doesn't scale the object so we'll just put an else statement for this so if that condition is false then we'll say first pinch is equal to now let's build and run again and see if everything is fine 
so let's start the game now so I'm moving around the planes are getting detected so let's place the object now okay let's scale it okay it's becoming big now let's make it small I'm going to make it very small okay now let's make it big again so as you can see everything is working fine now so this is how you can scale an already placed object in the AR scene so in the next tutorial, we'll be seeing how to disable the plane detection after the object is placed and also change the texture of your plane. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.